The Métis Nation of Alberta just had the largest ratification vote by, by an Indigenous group in Canadian history. We are joined by our web reporter Danielle Parody to tell us more about what it means for the Métis Nation. Danielle, thanks so much for joining us here today. Can you tell us a little bit about what the vote was, was all about? Hi, Daryl. Yeah, the um, Otem Pemisola, the people who govern themselves, which is a, a name the Métis have uh, claimed from themselves, uh, given by the Cree. Uh, that, that's the name of the agreement that was uh, working to establish an official language as well as four branches of the government, including a citizens' assembly. Uh, the Constitution also aimed to repatriate lands, resources, cultural artifacts, and sacred sites to the Métis. Okay, and, and there has been some opposition within the Métis Nation of Alberta over this, uh, right? There's some communities are, are, that are threatening legal action as well. Um, so what does this mean for the Métis Nation of Alberta? Yeah, um, of, so of the 56,000 registered members, um, there's over 100,000 people who identify as Métis in Alberta, but about 56,000 members. Uh, about 15,000 voted, and there was a 97% vote in favor of the Constitution. That's what uh, Audrey Poitras announced last night. Um, however, uh, two days ago, there were news stories about how there's 14 communities, um, including nations and settlements, that are speaking out and threatening legal action because they feel that um, the Métis Nation of Alberta is, is Edmonton-centric and focused on larger urban centers and, and might not meet the needs of their individual rural communities. So they're, they're, they have some concerns and um, they don't feel like the consultations that have been done have answered those concerns yet. Alberta is really unique um, in having given land to the Métis. So unlike in, in Manitoba, where there's not settlements, uh, there's specific regions and, and probably specific cultures that have emerged because of that. So Danielle, given everything you just said, what happens going forward here? Well, there's always been um, some tension, you might call it beefs, within the Métis community of Alberta. And and so I, that, that's obviously going to continue. Uh, we'll see if those legal threats are, are, are made good. And there's going to have to be some real um, consultation and, and working together and figuring out the best way forward for uh, the people here, as well as um, you know how, how to re relate with the Métis across the nation. So how does the Métis Nation of Alberta work with Winnipeg um, and, and so on? and so forth. So I think this is a beginning and it's a very historic beginning. It's been called the largest uh, Indigenous ratification of, of an agreement. But that doesn't mean that it's not a stepping stone. There's still more to come. We'll have to leave it there. Danielle, thanks so much for joining us and uh, sharing some of your insight into this. Thank you.